in this video we are going to learn how to contact the support team how to edit your account how to track your orders and how to check your order status and how to get the referral link so if you have placed an order and you want to check how is your order processing how is the what is the status of your order what what is how to contact the support team so that is all about this video the first step if you want to create a support ticket you want to, to contact the support team you will always come here and you click the main menu button so you will click the main menu so once you will always click you will click the main menu so you will see here the main menu here so once you click the main menu this list will pop up so you will see there's a lot of the ad funds refund um in the support ticket so you'll see the support ticket toggle is here so once you click here on the support ticket the page will load and it will display so once you're here this is now where you can write your issues and the other team will re will process your your issue as soon as possible so once you're here you can select the ticket type you use, if you want if it's refill speed up cancel or what so you'll always choose what you what is the issue with the order so if you want to speed up your order use the speed up ticket if you want to speed up your order so you'll put here your order id then here you'll describe your issue then if you want to cancel an order you'll create a cancel ticket so you'll create a cancel ticket then you enter your order id here then from there you'll enter your message will enter your message if you want to attach to attach a screenshot you can choose a file then that but that is optional so once you have filled the form then you will submit so if for example let's say you want to speed up an order so i'll come here i will i will have come here and select the speed up ticket so I'll select the speed up ticket there then from there they'll say you have to add your own ids which is a must so you have to uh, use correct order ids so how, how will i get the correct order ID? so i'll go to the order space so that's now where you're going to learn how to track your order so i'll come i'll either come here to my orders or i'll come go back to the main menu and look for my orders toggle so i'll click here main menu then once i'm here on the main menu once i'm here on the main menu then i will go to the my orders page this is my orders page so i'll click my orders so once you click my orders your orders will be the orders toggle will appear the orders page will load so once you're here this is where you'll see the order id and from the extreme end that's when you'll see the order status this is the order status if an order is refunded you'll see here status then you will see the variation so if you want to see your orders which are cancelled you will always click there if you want to see the partial orders you will use the partial so you'll find like for me i don't have the partial orders so it won't display so you'll always be able to see here all of your orders those that are refunded and are all the enemy so you can always from here you can so let's say now i want to create a speed let's say this order is but you can also see how your order is uh, Refund why it's refunded, they'll always show you why it's refunded, why it's special, why it's everything, every status. So, you'll see why it's refunded. They are telling me Instagram refunded. Ensure your IG account is public when making an order. So, you'll always, they'll always include the ID, it will always vary depending on the service you buy. So, you see this one is Instagram. So, if if you buy a different service or whatever, they'll tell you possible reasons why your order was refunded. So, you always come here and click and you read why was it refunded so it will always be tailored specifically for that service so you have said let's say i want to so you know he that's here's where you always come and get your order id then you will go back if you are if you are creating a support ticket you'll come here to the support ticket then you will issue your, you will come here and select if it's a speed up then you'll put here speed up the order id then you'll select here why you, the, you need to say i want to speed up my order my order so let's say you want to attach an email so you'll choose here file you choose there file then you will wait so the file will be attached so you'll see 
the file will be attached here as a screenshot so once it's assigned that to you that means it's now okay you can now submit your file so you will submit the ticket so as you submit the ticket you'll find now i'll have here pending ticket so from here i can be able to go and see so i'll click the pending ticket and see once the team replies you will get a message so as per now you see the delay is still pending once it's the respond i will be able to get the rmm so we'll see also in the priority it's urgent so the response time will be zero to six hours ticket number will be written there so you'll see here there's a note order start time may fluctuate depending on server load so the, the orders tend to fluctuate so they have given you the notes there so you'll be able to read and know possible issues what can happen all those so that is how you create a ticket that's how you create a support ticket and always ensure you create one ticket at a time so this you see this ticket i've used for some so if it's, you want to speed up a different order you create another ticket for a different order but you cannot create a, if you create a same same ticket another ticket for the same order that you have created previously your order you are the system will automatically flag your ticket and you may not get where better solution to your order so always use one ticket one order one ticket one order that one will always be perfect for you if it's a speed up ticket ensure it would be speed up don't write as cancel inside a speed up ticket because the cancel team the speed up team and the refill team are different that's why here there are some different subjects that you're supposed to select yeah so that's how we track orders that's how we create support ticket the next thing is now how to manage account so you'll come here on main menu then you scroll down you scroll down then you'll see there's this something called my account so you'll click there on my account then you will come and see you'll find like you will be able to update your profile picture you'll be able to check your account details maybe username you will see the username your email your balance your total spend you also be able to change your password from there you can be able to see even the panel statistics you'll find like now at for now this were the total users in the panel one and one hundred thousand and something total services total orders so you'll be able to watch here the numbers change so yeah that is how it is so this is how here you can be able to choose an image that you want for your enemy you can always change your profile picture so yeah so that is it that is how we but we are able we are able to check your you are able to check your details you are able to create a support ticket you are able to track your orders you say if you want to track your order you just come to my orders then you'll be able to check and see how your orders are processing and whatever you can be able to check the orders id and then you need to yeah so when when an order is refunded that means the balance will be refunded here automatically so once the order is partial the balance the remaining part is usually automatically refunded so once an order is refunded there's no need for you to come on like why have i been really refunded born make what refunded whatever so you always ensure once it's refunded that means it has been refunded here automatically if what's special that means the partial part has already been refunded so you just go ahead and make a new order you check where has it been refunded then you make a new order because the system has already you cashed back your money here so that is how we track orders we watch the orders how they are processing you can be able to conduct the support so when you click conduct support it automatically you create you link open you this it will create you it will automatically direct you to the create support ticket so here is where you will be able to create your support ticket that is all about that